morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Moroz and I'm a lead developer of Moroz Video Capture and I'm gonna use today Moroz Video Capture to capture my desktop for this tutorial and I'm gonna use Moroz Video Converter that I also developed uh, to bring it into YouTube with a high definition, high quality. So uh, today I'm going to talk to you and teach you how to overclock your video card safely but again however I'm not going to do anything and you might uh, damage your hardware if you're not going to do it properly but again um, in my 10 years experience of overclocking CPU and video cards I never saw a damaged video card if you're going to use my methods okay so what we're going to do we're going to open your browser in google.com and we're gonna type uh, precision EVGA or and we're gonna go ahead and download it from Guru 3D website or some other sources I know if you're gonna go to EVGA.com you can download it from that site but you need to sign up here you don't need to sign up just download it for free as well as an EVGA.com but here just you know it's free and it's pretty quick I'm gonna install that by clicking the button and uh, accept install in default folder and click start all programs you can pause anytime and see exactly what I'm doing and by the way I'm gonna this tutorial is going to teach you how to overclock any NVIDIA uh, GeForce video cards no matter if it's 260 GTX 9800 GT or even next generation video cards so I'm gonna click start all programs EVGA precision EVGA and I'm running PNY um, GeForce 9800 GT 1 gigabyte so um, you can see at the stock ski the speed it's 600 uh, by the GPU core clock, it's a GPU clock, and the shutter clock is 1500 and memory clock is 900. Well, over here we got the temperature monitoring, and here I got the test tool and the apply button and the profiles. So I always suggest you start with the GPU and start overclocking by 10 megahertz. So you can click and switch to 6 stand click test it's gonna say the driver pass clock testing ok so it's fine and 620 and just go by 10 megahertz increase test fine and for this video card I know it's 690 is the speed that I'm looking for because I was overclocking before over that it's bring me some artifacts so it's safe test and same thing on the memory 910 or 915 and on this video card I know 1000 is my limit test fine and also if you will click on auto it's gonna unlock you to the manual fan speed and we can increase the fan and I know 55 is fine to cool down at this overclock so as you can see we are clocked by 100 megahertz by memory and almost by 100 megahertz on GPU however lucky sometimes you can clock a little bit higher or if you will get a little bit unlucky a little bit lower than that on the same video card just keep in mind on different video cards you have different GPU clock and different memory clock so this will perform about 10 15 frames per second extra into your games which is for free and which is nice uh, and which is safe as well but however I'm not going to do anything right click once it's gonna save the profile apply to Windows startup and click apply it's gonna apply every time you're gonna start up your windows or you can just do not apply the Windows startup and just run the precision and click apply button every time you need to overclock and I suggest you to keep shutter clock at the uh, 
other so it's gonna increasing with the GPU uh, core clock and this is fine as again today you just learned how to overclock your video card uh, any video card from NVIDIA on a GeForce based and it's absolutely free and it's gonna give you some more frames per second and gonna increase your performance and give you smoother uh, frame rate while you're gonna play your games well thank you so much guys and I was using Maros Video Capture to record this video tutorial and I'm gonna use Maros Video Converter to convert it into HD high quality for you and please subscribe and please rate because it's not easy to upload those videos thank you so much and my name is Alexander Maros and don't miss my next tutorials I'm gonna also do the CPU overclocking so after we overclock our video card we need to test it and I suggest you to test it every time you apply about 10 20 megahertz on GPU and uh, memory till you're gonna find the sweet spot so this uh, thing will take a little bit of time like couple hours you need to for testing purposes I suggest you to use a 3d mark 06 from futuremark.com and just start google.com and type in the search 3d mark 06 it's a free application for download click it it's gonna bring you to the futuremark.com website and it's absolutely free and uh, as a trial which is perfect to get your score and test your video card and um, you can go ahead and download it install it and run it I suggest you to run about three times by the way when you're gonna run your 3D Mark test and you're gonna see some dots or some lines appearing on your screen while they're not appearing at the stock speed um, that means that your memory clock is getting the artifacts and because it's getting too uh, high on the clock or it's getting too hot so by avoid that try to uh, increase the fan speed if it's not gonna help then you need to lower your memory clock by 10 megahertz click apply and try it again if if you will run the test and your screen will freeze up for a couple seconds or even restart your computer that's going to be your car uh, core clock on GPU problem it means it's getting too over that speed it's supposed to run even on overclock or it's getting too hot and to avoid that I'm suggesting you to bring the fan speed higher and if it's not gonna help just lower your GPU core clock by 10 megahertz lower click apply and try it again and um, and if something not gonna work you can also always go to reset and then just click left click of your mouse on your profile and click apply and uh, it's gonna in this case it didn't work out because I clicked the wrong button but uh, set it 690 and set it again and click and memory 1000 690 click apply and it's gonna apply that you can apply the Windows startup as well anytime so I just teach you how to do your thing how to overclock your video card any video card any GeForce video card no matter if it's 9800 GT like I have or GTX 280 260 or even higher by the time you're gonna watch this tutorial use this free uh, tool software to overclock safely your video card and use my methods and you're gonna be always in good shape and thank you for watching my name is Alexander Moroz and uh, I use the Moroz video capture to capture this tutorial and that's the software that I developed and I am probably will sell it and it also will be available in trial version please contact me for more information and as well I'm gonna use the Merce video converter to capture this into 
high definition quality video and upload it in on YouTube. I also developed that software and it will be available in about in the end of April or in the beginning of May of 2009. Thank you so much and uh, have a nice day. Bye bye now. Good luck.